So the fly I'm going to type for you is just a basic skunk that's used for steelhead. It's an Alec Jackson hook set in the vise, and the first move is just to start the thread. Just a couple turns of thread gets us started. Now this fly has a tip and a tag, and the tip is just tinsel. So we'll secure the tinsel in right at the bend, and then we're going to take that tinsel down the bend. You want this tinsel as you go down each turn just butting up with the next. Use your thumb to keep it tight. And then once you get down until you're in line with the barb, go ahead and start that back. And now you've gone down and back with the tinsel. And what that does is it creates a really nice base for the floss tag, which is which is next. So go with the floss. Tie in your floss, and we're going to do that same move. We're going to go down. And back with the floss. I'm a little wild with that floss, but you get the idea here. So we're just going to go down. And we're going to leave just a little bit of that tinsel showing for the tip. Create that tag with the floss. So there's our tip and a tag. This fly has a basic tail tied with tippet. You just want some fibers from the tippet feather of golden pheasant. And then we're going to gauge the length and want it to come just past the bend. Lock in with your left hand and secure that tail down with a couple turns. And you've got your tail. This fly is going to have a body and a rib. The rib is mylar, it's a peacock colored mylar. So we secure that in. and then build a loop out of thread for our dubbing. I'm going to spin dub the dubbing. So once we've got the loop and the mylar in, you bring your thread forward. And then we're going to load this loop with our dubbing. Just hang on to that loop and then just take a pinch or two of your dubbing and just start loading that up, stack it up. Get your, it's called spin dubbing. We're going to spin that loop now and secure that dubbing into that loop. And just take, give a good hit with the turbo. And then we've got our dubbing ready to go forward. So now just make sure you get right up against the tail and the tag, and we'll just bring that dubbing forward for our body. Now by spinning that, that gives you a really good spiky, spiky body. So we've caught our dubbing loop and we've got our body in there. Now the rib, we're just going to bring the rib forward through that dubbing with five turns. And you want to pull that rib good and tight down into the dubbing. Try to get those segments all the same. And then just a couple securing wraps. And you've got your rib. Now to clean that body up a little bit, you can just take some Velcro 
and hit that dubbing with the Velcro and that'll pull it out and spike it up even a little bit more. So tip, tag, tail, and a body, we're ready to move on. So the next move is to put the collar on. And we're just using a hackle here. This is slop and hackle. I've stripped all the fluff off. And I'm gonna just take and pull those fibers back. Clip a little notch in, and then I'm gonna just take that notch and secure it right down onto the hook. And then to hackle this, you wanna fold those fibers back with each turn. And then you just keep on wrapping that hackle around, folding those hackles back. All the way, and by preparing this feather right, you should be able to just end right on stem, so all you're tying down at the end is stem. Secure that stem in, and we've got us a collar. Now these skunks all have a hair wing, and what I've done is I've just taken some of the fibers off the hide, and I've stacked those fibers, cleaned them out, and I've got my wing prepared. We're just going to throw this wing right on top and engage it to come just right back to where we started the tip. Clamp, and then trim the tag end. So now we're ready to just lay that wing right on top. There we are. A couple really firm turns to get that wing seated. And then a whip finish. A <laughs> little bit of head cement on that, and you've got a scum.